from Tully and Cardwell in the north to Toowoomba and Brisbane in the south. Communities around the state are eagerly anticipating the arrival of Prince William this weekend. The Prince's hectic schedule includes a brief stop in Ipswich, where a very excited and nervous mayor, Paul Pasali, will be waiting to greet him. Paul Pasala, you're an excitable bloke at the best of times. How do you feel about Prince William's visit on Sunday? Oh, it's fantastic. It's like a fairy tale for us. We've been through some really hard times over the last nine weeks. Um, the insurance com companies have given us heaps and not saying yes or no. But to have a real prince, our kids are excited. It's like a fairy tale come to Ipswich. Look, young kids have read stories about the prince and the princess, and they come up to me and say, Mayor Paul, are we getting a real prince to our city? And I say, yeah, we are. So I hope that the, the security arrangements don't stop our young kids having a real fairy tale and an opportunity for our city to see a real prince. So what have you got planned for His Royal Highness? What we've got planned is that he arrives at Rathbase Base Ambly, he'll go a certain route to the security arrangements. He's coming to West Mac, West Morton Anglican. Um, we hope that he meets with all the volunteers, um, some of the affected families from the floods. The most important thing is to say good day and share one of our famous Ipswich sausages to say, um, you know, enjoy Australian um, barbecue. You know, Ipswich is known for um, the world's most livable city, the best master plan community, but how many people know that we've won the best award for the best sausage for Australia? How good is that? And the Prince will taste it. You're not worried that he'll be over sausages by then? Most communities are planning barbecues, I think. That's why we've got to get the best of the best of the sausages. You know, I, I haven't slept for a couple of days worrying about, is the sausage right? You know, you, Your Royal Highness, would you like a sausage? Um, how are you? Pleased to meet you. Would you like to meet Ipswich? You know, what I've decided to do now is just to relax, and I'm going to treat him like he's coming to my home, and I'm going to treat him like a, a real... Um, Ipswich spoke and, and say welcome to my home and enjoy the people. Have you been practicing your royal etiquette though? Oh, look, I think that um, look, Prince William doesn't want any um, you know ceremony and pompous um, you know um, celebrations. What he wants is to meet the people, and that's exactly what I'm going to give him. I'm excited. Um, I think that what we've got here is an opportunity for the Ipswich to um, forget about the floods, forget about the depression, and realise that we'll deal with those later on. But on Sunday, we're going to meet a prince and feel a little bit good about ourselves. People have experienced a lot of terrible things lately. Is this in some way a chance to draw a line in the sand? It is. You know, people have been through some really hard times, but this is an opportunity. We've had prime ministers, governors, governor generals visit us. But to have somebody from the royal family, somebody who's in line to be king of England, come to our city, a chance of a lifetime, we're going to embrace it. And how will the prince find the Ipswich community faring? Oh, look, it's, it's been tough. Look, this is now getting on to 10 weeks. The insurance companies, um, God bless them, that, that they haven't said the yes or no, and I, I'd like to punch them in the mouth. You know, what I really want is for the community now, with the help of the council and all of us to work together to get them back in their home. They really need to have that feeling to belong to your own home. Whoever said there's no place like home, was so true when they say, say to that and it just breaks my heart when I see people in caravans, tents and displaced from their home. Is that the biggest hurdle to overcome still? Yeah it is. It, uh, we'll build the bridges, we'll fix the parks but until we get people back in their homes they're hurting, I'm hurting and they're feeling despair, anger and depression that comes with it. Is the Japanese disaster impacting on people locally, do you think? Uh, look, uh, me personally, you know, when you see um, what we had in Ipswich and then I saw Christchurch, it just brought you to tears. And now to see Japan, you know, I'd hate to be the mayor that is involved in that. It's just totally tragic. And it actually helps us sort of relive what they're experiencing. I feel very sorry. Our prayers and our thoughts are with them. We've just got a check from the Japanese community from Nirima, our sister city. They've just sent us, uh, you know, virtually $38,000 to help us. And the next week they're in despair. So we'll be doing everything we can to help our Japanese um, friends and neighbours. And our prayers and thoughts are with them. Well, Paul Pasali, I hope this weekend is a really enjoyable one. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Fantastic. We've got the Prince coming, and I'm sure he'll remember the city of Ipswich.